I'm going to show you how to make this sci-fi floor panel in uh, Blender and Substance Painter. It's very easy, and here's how we do it. We look down from the top and bring in a plane. I'm going to edit mode, and I'm going to extrude down. Now I'm going to grab these edges, and we want to keep the poly count relatively low for this. So I'm just going to bevel just a little bit. Control B, pull a little bit and just put one other segment so I got a total of three. I'm going to do the same to the top however, just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in another plane. I'm going to edit mode and scale it down just a little bit. I'm going to grab this edge and pull it in. I'm going to put hazard stripes here, shift D and duplicate it, pull it across a little bit like that. And grab this part and pull it out go into vertex selection and I'm going to bevel this control B and pull and I just want a little bit of a curve on that just like that A to select it all I to inset pull it in a little bit that's it and X faces I'm going to use this to carve into the plane so select it all extrude up and then I'm going to push it down just a little bit into this. All right, select my main plane and come to the modifiers, add Boolean difference, and select this and apply and delete that. So now I've got this indentation. I'm going to go into edit mode now and then in two vertex uh, edge selection, I'm going to select the edges all the way around. All right, so I've got the top edge here and I've got the edge there. And I'm going to do that on this one as well. And we'll bevel this as well. Alright, so hopefully I've got everything. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And Control B. I'll keep the same number of segments. And do that. Let's have a look at this. See if there's any problems. Okay, it looks alright. Now I'm going to come in and three face selection. I'm going to delete that bottom face. So I have just that. Alright. Okay, let's go into UV editing and select this thing here. And I'm going to try uh, cube projection. A select everything and then UV um, pack islands. Or you could use Pack Master 3. We could try that. Either way will probably work fine. Pack Master 3 might be a little bit better. I'm just going to leave it like that and see how it goes. Just before we go into Substance Painter, I'm going to put three materials on this. So we're in the material tab and I'm going to click new. And I'm going to call one uh, base metal. I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to assign that to everything. And then face selection, I'm going to select this, create a new material. This is going to be the metal grate, so I'll call that grate and click assign. Deselect, select this here, new material. These are going to be the hazard stripes, assign. And just note, that we're at 466 uh, tries. And it's not too bad. It just depends, I guess, how much you're going to array this um, in your walkway. So, you know, we could try to get it down even more than that sometime. All right, so there it is. And you can see my three materials here. I'm going to bake the mesh maps now. I'll do it at 2K and uncheck ID. Let's start with the base metal, base material. Uh, I'm going to go to Smart Materials and choose Metal. And this may be one that I downloaded or it may be one that's freely available. This steel painted rough damaged. I'm actually going to put that on all of them. may not need it on the stripes, but I'm going to do it. Okay, so that's all in there. Let's work on the stripes first. So I'm going to create a fill layer. In the properties, I'm going to change the color to an orangey kind of color that you see in the hazard. I'm just going to leave it like that. That's it for now. All right. Then a fill layer with the black mask. I'm going to come back to this, and I'm going to make this black. And then I click on the mask, and I'm going to choose to add a fill. 
go into that and on the grayscale, I'm going to come over here to the procedures, procedurals actually, and scroll down to stripes, and I'm going to drag stripes onto there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up, and that's going to sharpen those up. And if I want to, I could look at a different orientation. Maybe I'll do it like that. So I'm going to leave that for the moment, and now we're going to come to the grate. Close that up. I'm going to add a fill layer with the black mask. Come back to the main part, and I'm going to darken this up here. A dark gray. I'm going to increase the height. I'll increase the roughness a bit. And I'm going to put metallic, but I'm not going to go all the way. I'm going to go about three quarters. Come over here. Add a fill. And on the gray scale, I'm going to add this procedural metal gray. Right there. I'm going to scale this up by 10 times. And there you can see the effect already. Let's come over here. I might increase the... Uh, decrease the roughness a bit increase the metallic okay so that's pretty much what we're going for we'll just add a little bit of uh, dirt and stuff on there so I'll come back to the main layer I'm gonna add a, a fill with a black mask I'll leave it at uh, white and I think I'll use a smart mask let's just try like dirt splashes and see what that's like it might be a bit much eh? with dirt spots and I'll come in here to the mask editor and let's try decreasing the balance. So we have just a little bit here. It's a little scuffed up. And I might take that and copy that layer and try it on the grate as well. Just paste it. Doesn't really do too much on that one. So I may uh, clear that mask and try like Maybe try a different one. What if I do that and just really bring it back? Just, just a little, little bit. And on the stripes, I do want something on there. Let's try just pasting that other one there. Now it's not doing much either. So let's uh, clear that mask and do the same thing on there. And bring it back. You know, if you're if you're tiling these things or arraying them or whatever, you don't want it too regular. Okay, and finally though, uh, I will add uh, one more uh, material. Let's search for rust and take this rust fine and put it on there. And then, add, not that. And then add a black mask and then smart masks. I'm gonna try this leak which I like. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it on the others. Just a little bit there. And just a little bit there. And that is basically the, the finished panel, as you can see here. Very, very simple, very easy to do. Uh, you can then take that back into Blender, make a walkway or make a platform. All right, so there we go. Thanks for watching.